U4GM.com. Stop wasting your money. Go use code CUTE right now. Save your money. It's easy, fast, legit. Link down below of me buying coins off this website. Check out the video. I'll show you step by step how I save my money. And now you can. All right, guys, we're back. Best budget team in each position, straight to the point. Gardner, there you go. Um, he is going to be your best option for his price and what he gives you. Just remember his deep accuracy threshold. It's not great. So you can miss some deep throws. If he throws short, medium, he's going to fit your scheme a little better. But yeah, he's definitely going to be running past nobody. He's definitely a budget guy. And this is the position I would suggest you to really upgrade and invest your coins, right? So is he a budget guy? Yes. Are they better? Of course. Running back, free. Isn't that the best word to say when you're building a budget team? Free. This guy here is free with 90 Excel. Good juke, good break. Get his break tackle to a 90, and he's going to get you better animations. With that being said, Rodriguez is going to be a must-have for sure. Now, with 90 trucking, it's also going to help. I will say this guy here is going to be that running back you need for free. Um, you can get three of these for free. I would suggest the running back, the wide receiver, and you're going to see the other one's going to be the left tackle. So, yeah, building three positions for free right now is nice. Mike Allstott, fullback, free. There you go. Acceleration speed. He's going to be able to get out there, get in the way. And he can truck. So, in the short yardage, like a dive situation, or you see somebody up the middle just run out some clock, he's going to fit that situation pretty well. I will say that. So, for free, gets all 32 team chems, by the way. Now, the words. We like the word free. Here's free. Um, here we go. 88 speed for free is nice. Just remember, he is tiny. He's not going to be going to get any jump balls and like that. You could throw the ball underneath to him, like drag, stuff like that. Even a bubble screen would be super sweet to throw to him. I will say, yes, yeah, Juke is going to be fine. He can be your kick returner guy, so your main guys don't get tired. Or, you know what? Put him in a slot. Put him on a streak. There you go. Randy Moss is not quick anymore, but he is still getting Randy Moss animation. His spec catch is still stupid good. It just is. And with that being said, here's a jump ball guy. The other guy is your underneath guy. You don't need four jump ball guys. You need guys to run routes. You need somebody else for your jump ball. You need somebody else to run by somebody, right? That's how I like building my wide receiver uh, squad when I'm trying to fill out my, my team. I will say Randy Moss, though, is definitely on the list. Now, Jalen, does his speed and his price, I don't think he get any better. His spec catch is at 85. So this guy can go get the ball as well. Deep route running is where he's going to shine. So, yeah, he's not the best after the catch, but for his speed and his height and his thresholds, he's on the list. Jerry, Judy, 89 speed for 40K is nice. I will say I don't really like him across the middle as much, but this card here on a streak is not the worst, uh, especially... Hitting those thresholds, short, medium, deep, route running 85 and up. 90 is the next threshold, but at least he does hit a threshold. Now, Greg Olson, six foot five monster with good speed and excel. You're talking about the speed and excel and height is why he's on the list. So, yeah, go ahead and pick him up. He's going to be worth his coins because of that. Now, free left tackle. Here you go. You got to go get him, especially if you're just going to pass the ball. He's better at pass blocking run block. So, if you say, hey, running's boring and I like to pass, then this guy is definitely going to fit your scheme. He's hitting threshold strength and pass blocking, not so much on the running. So I don't like running off the edge with him for like a stretch or something like that. So, so just build your team how you think you play, right? So left guard, um, we're talking about somebody hitting the thresholds 80 and up, except for one, which is lead block. I will say that this guy here is on my budget team right now. I have a God squad and a budget team. He's fine. He gets the job done. No big fireworks or celebration for him, but he's fine. And here's your center for 40K. He gets the job done. He's hitting all those 80s. I have no issues with him. He's also on budget team, so I'm speaking from experience. He'll hold you down. Now, Zach Martin hitting the thresholds, 80s and up for his price. He's fine. I have no issues with him. He's also my right guard, right tackle. Here you go, Howard. Howard, there you go. Thresholds done. Uh, guys, let's go ahead and move to the defense side of the ball. The defensive side of the ball, guys, you can get Parsons or 40K, but I do want you to spend 30K more. This guy hits a threshold for power move and block chase. He's going to run and the pass. 
I would go ahead and spend those coins, get those thresholds, get those animations to really help you stop the run and help against the pass. So yeah, Jeffrey Simmons is a pretty good investment as far as value. We're talking about budget, we're talking about thresholds. So moving right along, Max Crosby is free. He's hitting the finesse here, threshold, and you know what, for free, I I can't tell you go spend coins. He's going to be just fine. Uh, he shows up more than you think. Is he perfect? No, but can he surprise you? Sure. But yeah, Max is definitely going to be free, so go make sure he's on your team. I will say that. Now, D-Tackle, this is the easiest one I did. It's the finesse right here in the block. So you're getting both these thresholds. At least he's 80 strength. So it's 85. It's not, but he has good excel. This guy here, for his price, he's going to be the best value for the thresholds, animations that he's going to give you for sure. Now, Chris Jones. Chris Jones has block shed, okay, and that's what you want. You can get his power move up to 85. If you do that, it is going to help his animations. So, yeah, for the block shed and his price and his power move, he's pretty good value. Now, on linebackers, guys, I'm really going to help you here. I hate when people give you one linebacker and then that's it, right? Like, you use more than one linebacker. So, these guys do different things. I'm going to show you, depending on how you run your defense, so... Quincy Williams is amazing if you're just going to drop him in coverage. That 85 zone for his price, if that's your scheme, pay attention, right? So if you have your linebacker blitzing a lot, then don't worry about it. But people put blitzing linebackers in coverage, and they get baked, and they say, oh, I hate this game. The defense is trash. Yes, defense is very difficult in this game. But also, you're not helping yourself. So just remember, in coverage, go ahead and get Quincy Williams. Now. Left out seven marker Phillips, guess what? He has the speed and excel to get out there, get in the way. He has some lower thresholds. He just plays a little bit better in his stats. I will say that this guy actually shows up a little bit better than you think. So keep him in mind. I will say if you didn't get the other ones, you do have one more to get. You can definitely go get Rodriguez. He has the speed and the con. And this guy's going to move pretty well. He's going to get out there, get in the way. He has good impact block, good hit power. So, yeah, is he fast? Yes. Is he missing a lot of stuff? Yes. I will say, Nick, don't forget about him. Finesse move. So, if you need somebody coming off the edge with good speed and good thresholds, this could be your guy. He also has above average hit power, hitting that 85 threshold. Now, 88 XL, 85 finesse move is being met with 87. So, yeah, go ahead and give him a chance there. Now, cornerbacks, Crow, guys, talking about the speed, talking about the height. I know his speed's not the best, but look at this. He gets pick artists and universal coverage. That's why he has to be on your budget team right now. There's really, it's not really debatable. Guys, height really does matter. Um, I remember someone told me a long time ago, it was so funny. They're like three inches don't matter. Wow, uh, you must have never played Madden. Between a 5'11 and a 6'2 cornerback, there's a big difference. Um, just trying to throw the ball over his head. Now look at this guy, Richard Sherman. Yes, sir. Six foot three, 85 zone. So we run zone. He's still really good in the flat, guys. Run cover two flat, trying to throw a ball above his head. I, I love this card. Okay. Obviously, he, you don't want to press him, get him to, you ran by, and you're not going to leave him a man coverage. But if you run zone, you're really going to like him. He does get universal coverage. When he's activated, he's pretty good. Now, Frank. And guys, we do have Samuel Jr. here with 85 zone and his speed for his price. He's pretty good. So, yeah, keep it in mind, guys, this threshold. This is more of a zone guy. If you run main, go ahead and skip him. But he does get universal coverage. He can activate. When he is activated, he obviously can play way better when he's not activated. But, yeah, for the threshold and his price, he's pretty good value for sure. Now, moving right along to free safety. Talking about zone again, guys. Talking about speed excel 85 zone at least he does hit 80 man that is a threshold you wish he had 85 but yeah having 85 cod's not the worst but yeah for his price and the speed and the stress he's definitely gonna be worth that now same here guys it's talking about 85 zone six foot three so i do like him better because of his height if you're looking for a free safety it's on the budget i definitely go get him he has 88 jump this guy is aggressive he's on my budget team not my god squad but my budget team and this guy does Go and get it. Um, I do like them. You, if you've tried them, maybe you can speak about them in the comments. I will say Universal Coverage is activated. He's going to definitely play better. Now, Ken Houston, go ahead and boost this to 85. 
there's not that many great budget strong safeties right now. It's kind of the position that's pretty expensive. But this guy here is six foot three, decent speed. He can hit the threshold if you boost him. So keep that in mind. Guys, that was straight to the point. Be kind to everyone for no reason. Bad times don't last. And if this helped you, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. I'll be back with another video very soon. Over at U4GM.com, guys, don't forget my code works for all these games plus more. So that's COD, Madden, 2K, FC, 25. You name it, it's there, even GTA. So go save your money.